opportunity. Oh, well, I want to hear about your art. What type of uh, work do you enjoy the most? Okay, um, that's a different... Um, what I'm doing mm -hmm. is, is sculpture, and I'm new at it, but I achieved a lot through the help of my professors at Fresno State. I'm a master's student. Oh. And my final show is going to be in October, so I'm inviting <laughs> everybody to come to graduate studies. studies. Gallery studios, studios. This is great. It's over there on the M Street complex. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to talk today about some of the stuff we do at Fresno State. I wanted to first of all mention that my committee, you know, Joan Sharma, uh -huh. Edward Gillum, who runs the Spectrum Gallery, has been great and awesome in teaching me foundry and helping me all along the way, cheering me on, giving me courage. Good. And I want to acknowledge him because. I miss him because he's, he's been uh, absent. He went to L.A. this week. Oh. So also Keith Jordan, who is my seminar professor of all the history seminars of Mayan art. I do Mayan art. And my sculpture is not real big. Like the last one I did is eight feet or seven feet. Ooh. And I had to, it's right here. Yes, it's over there. He's putting it. That's the first one that I did. Uh -huh. But um, now has become totally different. When I started, I started building them like piñatas, you know, like I used to do back home, like weaving with starch. But I've developed and learned new techniques. And the last thing I had to do is I had to break three of them because they were 850 pounds, 750 oh. pounds, and 650 pounds, okay? <sighs> And when Fresno State said, you got to graduate now in April, I totally freak. <laughs> and I said, what am I going to do? How am I going to transfer this work? So I figured, well, I created a problem. So I got to solve the problem. So I broke them all the way to like a little underneath the waist. And then I rebuilt them in a way that now instead of being 800 pounds, they're like 225. Wow. So they're, they're, they look bigger, actually. <laughs> they turn out bigger. Mm -hmm. But um, I did it in a way that, that I just made a covering of cement, you know, quick set, more on cement. And then I put the, the clay coals a little smaller. Mm. But I want to talk about the content of what we do in, in Fresno State. Um, when I started the master, we had to do a CV and ask, you know, have some goals of what we want to learn. So I started in a quest of, to finding meaning. Because I follow psychoanalysis, Lacanian theory, and Lacan used to say that in order to find a way to fill the empty space we fill within the, it's called the lost object, we have to find meaning. But we don't have no meaning because everything we learn, all the symbols of our communication are learned from culture, from society, but they're not our own. So I set up to discover my own symbols. And I have faith that when you discover your own symbols, he says you get meaning, and with the meaning, God will give me ideation. So I set up to find the symbols of my communication. But the good news is that you don't have to go to school to have meanings of, means of communication, but everything that you do, sports, singing, writing, even talking, Whatever makes you feel centered and you like and put you in the present moment, that's, those are the symbols of your communication. So, mm -hmm. And I was thinking this morning that God has given me God or the Spirit, because I don't like the word God because it's not a dogmatic God that sits in heaven. It's the energy of life that runs the universe, which is a super conscious mind, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what my coils in my sculpture represent, all the super conscious lights of energy that enlivens everything. From incense to rocks to minerals to the universe. It's those calls of the feather serpent. And the feather serpent is nothing but the light that shines through the storm in the thunder. It's a thunderbird for the Native Americans. And the thunderbird, the natives didn't have no cross of Christianity. They had the four directions of the sky, the north, the south, the east, and the west. And if you didn't watch the shadows of the sun, you didn't know when to plant, mm -hmm. and then you died. So they were centered in the four directions, the four elements, and the Quetzalcoatl in Mexico, which is the Gucumax in Guatemala, and the plume serpent in the quadrant of New Mexico and Pueblos. It's only the ray of light that comes in the sky, brings rain, brings water to the sea, and then life to the people. And I just did the water god, which is like seven feet, and he's about this wide, and I'm really excited about it. It's one of the statues that I that I broke, 
and it's better now than it ever was. <laughs> you know, so I had the courage to try something new, and and I managed to to swing it with the two that I broke that I rebuilt, and that's one of them that I rebuilt right there. And uh, the the feathers that you see are made out of twigs that were soaked, and then they have bubble wrap around, and then they have paper and cement, and then they have little rings of clay. Wow. And on top of them, they have um, a strong glue that makes them make them strong, you know. Mm. And then I put coats of like a 30-hour wind and rain protecting. And what I learned is my methodology is that every day I do something wrong. Every day I make an error. So every day I find out new things that I didn't do right because it's a learning process. Art is a learning process. Oh, but what I wanted to talk sure. about is symbols. Oh. You know, Sassure who started, that's what we learned at Fresno State. Sassure who started post-structuralism said that um, a sign doesn't have intrinsic meaning. In other words, it doesn't have a meaning inside, neither does a word. But what gives the meaning is the words you put around a sentence or the symbols that you put around the symbol gives the meaning. So it's the relationships. So mm. I found my meaning because I found my symbols, but the relationships with the community, with all the people that I've talked to our hope, the people in Fresno, I've been there for our hopes in my studio. I had about 200 people or more. I can count them, but they come in groups. Yeah. And a lot of youth from Madison High School, from mm -hmm. Fresno City, from Fresno State, and I'm able to share all my secrets of sculpture with them. And everybody's an artist. And I learned that the response and the encouragement of the community is what makes art happen. Because artistic creation is a lonely pro process. And it's like a symbol isolated that has no meaning. But when you go with the community, it well, takes all the meaning. Well, you, you got the right answer there. You really <laughs> do. And I want you to come back and show us some more of your things. And when we have a little bit more time.